What's up, crew? Today, a little quick impromptu video. It's Sunday, Sunday morning. Take me a quick little ride, you know, break the old school out today. Really, I'm uh, just want to do a run to Best Buy. Think about getting some new uh, camera equipment. Something to hold my camera a little better while I'm YouTubing. You know, I already got the old school started. Warming up, hold on. Like I said, I'm about to give me a, some new equipment. Going, oh, drop that. Going to Best Buy. Some new equipment. Something to hold the camera better. Got a couple of mounts, but you know. Let me back this mug out the garage. Oh yeah. I already hit it warmed up, man. You know, we've been having some crazy uh, Texas weather. Sunny some days, which actually some good winter weather though. You know, not too sunny, not too cold. Uh, you know, just good. I guess you would say, not fall, I forget the season sometimes. It's just straight call it winter because uh, January, getting the year, we could have snow. You know, I was stationed in Virginia. I was in the military, I was stationed in Virginia, my last duty station, and man, uh, they can have that snow, but uh, come on, there we go. She out it up nice. Let's do a quick walk around. Uh, let everybody see how she sounded. Like I said, inside stay clean. Gotta look it right. So, if I do a quick little run. Run around the uh, Best Buy. Uh, I don't know. Just feeling, it's a good old school day, like I always say, man. Sundays, the sun is looking nice, you know, a nice little breeze out. You know, look at that. So you can see the trees. Man. And in Texas, we rarely have breeze like this. Southeast Texas. We humidity normally, but she got the Tahoe sitting there. I have to get her oil changed on Monday, tomorrow. So, man. Gotta set my alarm, don't oversleep. But right now, take the old school out. So, close the garage up and about to do us a quick little mission. Stick with me. So, like I said, uh, it's a nice little day taking the uh, cutlass out. Been riding pretty good, especially out for the oil change and uh, me getting all the levels topped off. Okay, the ride safe. I know uh, some of you guys in the comment section. Just man, so easy just to jump in the old school because they don't make no noise like the new modern cars do. The beep, beep, none of that. But uh, we practice safety all around these parts, so uh. days you could take a ride up the coast and uh i see why some of the guys the old school you know the 442s have the t-tops but i ain't gonna lie it's not warm enough for t-top weather not for me uh i say it's about 60 63 degrees nice little breeze i mean i don't know i got no sleeves on today so that's i don't know i ain't gonna ride around without no uh no no top but Definitely, I can see when it gets a little warm of the day, like by 70, you can crack the windows and get a little breeze going. But right like, now, nah, just, you can feel the power of your car. You don't have to cut no AC on. You know, enjoy it. You, you know, nice little ride. People turn heads. I, I like these days because a lot of the, how can I say it? The the car enthusiasts are out. The older guys, you know, I, I like a, a week ago, a weekend ago, I saw a, a Model T in this area. So there's a lot of guys that saw are veterans or retired guys in this area that I live in. And uh, I think on Sunday, they either be going to, I guess it's a little area down here, the river. I might start doing some vlogs down there. So 
That's all I might start doing. Oh, look at this guy. He got a nice truck right here. Let's see. If you're waiting, I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. Man, nice Chevy head. See, I'm telling you, man, it's just one of them type of days where people pull out the cars from the infamous Best Buy. But, uh, shoot, not too many people out. My Texans won yesterday, you know, playoffs started. So, get out, run you some errands if you, you know, into football, and uh, get back home for the game start. So, I think I'll park way over here by myself. It's kind of crazy when you park in like a lonely parking spot. This is just me. And you come back out the store and it's like the whole parking lot can be empty, but people choose to park next to you only. Hmm. But uh let me walk up in here, see what it's about. Like I said, sneaker cam, you know, kicks of the day. Man, it's nothing like having some uh, old school GM keys in your hand. Oh, let me show you. Yep, there they go, GM. Thank you. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I still got my tag on the side of the shoe, so I like to keep these. Infamous Best Buy. Let's walk in here and see what good is or money I can spend. See, this is what I got to get confused about, man. I mean, first off, let me say, I'm not promoted by any company or any brand or anything like that. Hey, if you want to, Shoot me some ducats, get in my DMs, or send me a, you know, shout out. I, hey, but right now, I'm just doing this on my own free will. But, uh, yeah, like when you get something, for example, like a box, this, this looks like a nice product. And then you'll get it, and, you know, you get home, you start playing with it or whatever. Then you be like, oh, man, this is nice. It'd be nicer if I also had this thing. Then you start watching videos and be like, oh, man, it's nice because I got this and this now. Now I wish I had this thing. And then somebody be like, okay, that's good. You got this, this, and this. But it'd have been cheaper if you'd have just brought this whole setup by itself. And you'd be like, fuck, 59. And it's like, you gotta watch like 20 tutorials, you know, by itself. I don't know, maybe it's just me complaining. That's my little rant right now. But, you know, I guess it's all within, you know, that's within the fun of the hunt. Like, you know, finding the best product to do this, to do that, to do this. To not eventually, you know, buy necessary things. But hey, uh, that's why I say, hey man, I go on YouTube, I look, I look, I look. And that's crazy because when Black Friday and all that stuff came about, the thing that I liked and I saw, I should have got it right then and there. And what's crazy is I have an old tripod, but that shit like from 2011. When I was over in Afghanistan, and I don't want to be setting up no big tripod looking like I'm about to shoot a porno or something, you know. But hey, uh, let me keep looking and uh, get my brain together and see what I'm gonna get. So, I finally out of the, did a lot of, you know, searching around. I was like a kid in the candy store, man. Oop, throw that in there. Sure, got wallet, everything, but uh, overall, I guess I'm uh, cool with my selection. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm looking at, I was looking at a lot of cameras in there, man. So much technology today, man. Between the, the, the cannons and the cameras and the handheld cameras and the camcorders, and that's some nice stuff, though. And it's like, once you use your Best Buy rewards card. Oh, this is nice. I mean, I should've did an unboxing on this. Uh, so pretty much, this turns to, oh man. Somebody burning out in the parking lot. Let me see if I can record the car. This big escalator's in the way right now. You really can't see them. 
See the big old Escalade in the way? The smoke just cleared. Let me see if this vehicle sounded like something, man. With some horsepower, though. Uh, hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, so, uh, I got this uh, Flex Pod DX. Started off as a simple Sunday ride, you know, enjoy the day. Then to pick up, uh, you know, a mile or something like that. But I got this uh, Flex Pod. I don't know. Y'all can read backwards, but Flex Pod. I'm going to read it to y'all. Flex Pod DX Tabletop Tripod. So, it comes with a couple of things. Let's see what it comes with. Oh. Comes with a little handle, a little baggie. Hmm. Let's see. So far, I got the little extra mile that goes on top. I know you can see that. The meat and potatoes. Ah, get on. Got a little handle. Man. So this is where you unscrew it and adjust it. To make it uh, go up top and everything. This feels, I ain't gonna lie, this feels good. Feels like a nice grip. Hand, a little baggy, you know, put that in there. And this the main thing, I guess, in case you wanna hook up your cell phone on top of it, you know, you put it on top. So, yep, that's pretty neat. So, hmm, let's see. Did I break it? Push plus this is unlocked. Wait. You know we don't read instructions. We just get straight to doing stuff. Push plus. Lock. Plus. It's unlock. What? I'm about to break this thing. What it says? Not lock? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm about to read the instructions. But uh, to put the phone mount, see, it's just like this where you hook up a camera already. It just has a screw on top. But to put the phone mount part, you have to screw this on there. Nice and snug. Then you add the, the extra piece. So, nope. <laughs> Blooper. Bloop. Okay, let's try this again. So, I think we just hook this back up. Ugh. Players mess up too. Players mess up too, Craig. I got real hungry all of a sudden. I ain't eating nothing today. So I need to stop doing it. Okay. I'm about to read, but I'll assume this piece just put aside for now. I'm gonna put it back in this slot. And hmm. How would you? Oh, look. Make it go up. Tighten it back up. And the Titans in there. Cool. So when I get home, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put it on the ground and let y'all see the uh cutlass like reverse or something in the driveway. Cool. So it's been a long day ripping and running. Crew. Getting back to the house. I'm uh reversing this joint in. already up actually went to the grocery store you know I'm about to cook a little bit oh I'm everywhere got straightened up all over the side of the edge there we go
how you know you be spoiled with technology and uh, backup cams and everything. But, boom, I made it. So, man. Push button. So, what y'all know about this? Old school right here. To make the uh, trunk pop. Even on the 85, man. It's quite some luxury, man. Old roll-up windows, though. I see a lot of models that even some of them they be older than my car, like 84s, 83s, and they had like uh, electric windows. So many different models. <laughs> Maybe because I ain't have it in park. It didn't raise up. Anyway, don't worry about that piece. Like I said, we're going to start construction at the house. I'm just waiting for the baby to get a little older. I don't want guys nailing and stuff. So, this is another thing, man. Look at the trunk space. Ooh. I got water, grocery bags, all kind of stuff. And look, I can still put a whole body up there. Mafioso style. Ooh. Yeah, man. Let me go up in here. Oh, cut that off. Players uh, mess up too. Let me uh, go up in here, take these groceries inside. Do a little razzle dazzle on the pots, you know, cook. Then I'ma come set up the uh man, get against the sun. Set up the mount so y'all can see uh we can do a little back forward and stuff like that with the mount. Coming soon. Alright, crew. Let me close this out, man. I'm just getting through cooking, man. Cornbread, everything looking good. But uh I ain't gonna lie, man. It took a little longer, it's a little darker, but hey. I'm about to do what I said I'm going to do. So I'm going to give y'all a quick little video. Hey, I'm going to use this mount. Let me see if I can use it. Excuse the... Uh... Oh, that, that look all right. So I'm about to back the colors in. Warm up a little bit first. Let you guys see uh let it warm up a little bit because i've been in the house for a couple of hours like i said did a little sunday meal for the family spaghetti salad cornbread you know down south we like tea so i like this angle man like i said that mount was well uh worth spent so uh if i do me a little backup action Okay, so there we go, there we have it. So long day, long day's work, but uh, let me see. Oh girl, pretty good. I mean, man, this mount pretty good. Flip around, do, do some good stuff. But let me know overall what y'all think. You know, like I said, 
old school work in action, you know, day by day. Uh, I like the reaction I'm getting from her. I was just talking to this guy uh, at uh, H-E-B parking lot, man. He gave me some good advice. You know, it just, you never know who you're going to talk to, man. That's why, you know, I stay humble. Guy asked me, hey, man, you're going to restore the car? Uh, Hispanic guy, man, real cool guy uh, from my local area. You know, he said he does restore restorations. And he was telling me, man, I ain't have to pay to go back over. I ain't have to pay for another coat of GM Black and everything. He said that they actually probably could just restore it after sand it down and restore the original color on this car. So, you know, I got his number and everything, so I'm going to get with him. But overall, man, everybody have a good week. You know, it's Sunday. Start off another week. Stay blessed. Holla at your boy. Yeah.